In this video, I will show you how to splice fiber cable using fusion splicing machine. In fusion splicing, you need to use a high-tech tool known as fusion splicer. This tool is responsible for perfectly matching the fiber ends by melting and fusing them together. Here are the steps involved in fusion splicing. Before you strip fibers, add a protective sleeve to the fiber. Then strip the protective polymer coating around the optical fiber using a mechanical fiber stripper, until you reach the bare fiber cores. Don't forget to clean your stripping tools before you start the process. Here's the stripped off fiber. Using 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol wipe, clean the bare fiber. Do it twice, using a different part of the wipe for the second round of cleaning. Once cleaned, avoid touching or putting the fiber into contact with any potentially contaminated surfaces or materials. Next. Use a fiber cleaver to render a clean, mirror smooth break on the cables with ends perpendicular to the fiber axis. Using a good fiber cleaver is vital to an effective fusion splice. You are now ready to fuse the fibers together using the fusion splicer. This step involves the alignment of the fibers followed by heating to melt the fiber ends and fuse them. In the fusion splicer, select the mode according to the cable being spliced. In my case, I will select single mode to single mode. Alignment can be manual or automatic depending on the type of fusion splicer you use. If the fusion splicer stops the process, it may be because of any of the following issues. Poor alignment of the wires on their guides. The fibers are not cleaved at a perfect 90 degree angle. There is some residual plastic cover or dirt on the end of the fiber. Once the end faces of the fiber are perfectly aligned and centered on the electrodes, the splicer unit uses an electric arc to melt the two fiber ends and permanently fuse them together. If the fusion is successful, the splicer will estimate and report the attenuation in dB. A typical fusion splice has a tensile strength between 0.5 and 1.5 pounds and will not break during normal handling. Even so, it's a good idea to provide protection from bending and pulling forces and ensure the fiber doesn't break during routine use. So, after the fibers have been successfully fused together, it's time to protect the fused fiber by either reapplying a coating or by using a splice protector. You can use heat shrink plastic, silicone gel, or mechanical crimp protectors to secure the splice from external damage and breakage. For the second fiber core, repeat step 1 to 4.
Now, here's our duplex single mode LC to SC fiber patch cord. After applying the four steps, we have to check the fiber with at least continuity tester. Now, we can see the light at the other end of both core, this means we did the splicing properly. This covers how to splice fiber cable. If you have a question to ask, leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you found this tutorial is helpful, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.